halftime and the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl. <laughs> I've messed around with that too many times where that block just magically appears and then I end up falling into the pit. The pit of despair! Packmaster says you guys have essential what happened. Oak City says bring the heat man. Packmaster says no stream. Go home, what does that mean? I am home. I'm sitting at my home. This is my home, isn't it? Stream cut off. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I don't know what happened. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. Hmm. It looks like it stopped and then started another. Sometimes when it buffers or whatever. Or lags real bit it'll it'll just continue like it'll it'll fix itself but for some reason it stopped the stream and then started another stream cab it is skynet for sure yeah movie movie metalhead that was weird let me check my youtube page real quick make sure they didn't delete me make sure i didn't get deleted off of youtube <laughs> All right, looks like they're still letting me. Uh, Mega Brandon got to smoke the ganja. Okay. All right, let's pretend that never happened. It's like the Matrix, there's a, uh, a deja vu, there's a glitch in the system. That means they've changed something. Oh, 
I'm done. Yes, I was, that was pretty weird. It's been a weird streaming day. sort of having this debate with myself <laughs> that wow that could have really so I was having a uh, discussion with my inner self <laughs> debate myself about uh, uh, music in video games and uh, I love Mega Man 2 I, I really do I love the soundtrack but I gotta be honest uh, the Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles on the PSP the music in that game is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But I think, in my opinion, that's the best video game music. Yeah, I've always said that about these Dr. Wily castles. Like there's a difference, like in wrestling, there's a difference between uh, a work and a shoot. Oh god, we fell off. And I get it, like for kayfabe, like for your character, you know, you, but I get it for the game. It needs to be cool looking and all that stuff. God, stop it! <laughs> Noob. This is noob shit. But like in real life, for practicality, you wouldn't want to draw attention to yourself if you're Dr. Wily, so why would you make a castle? It's so damn exotic. This is not that difficult, I promise. Yeah, 4's got some good spots. Uh, Drillman's level. Facing the Classics uses that. Diesel Pete, man. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Dracula. Is that what it is? Dracula X Chronicles Rondo of Blood remake or something? I'm not keen on my Castlevania timeline. The GameCube collection is almost at 20 games. Nice. GameCube's uh, hard to get. Like to like find at thrift stores and stuff. Typically, when you go to a store, they're always overpriced. Hooray! I've never played Echo the Dolphin for more than like five minutes. What, uh, Packmaster, what are your top three favorite GameCube games that you have? Yeah, Sparkman is good. Three's got a great soundtrack, don't get me wrong. Three's got an amazing soundtrack. Yeah, Savage. All right, we gotta do some refilling, man. We really pissed away a lot of power-ups right there. I was go down to the bottom of the the barrel, down to the bottom of the barrel. Give me power ups. a little bit here. I'm 
now wants to be stubborn. that off. <clears throat> Gotta get this going. Come on, give me something. Give me a power-up. There you go. Be kind. Be for one. Alright. for the second ladder. Oh, God, that was so close to not being good at all. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, we could have just refilled some here. Hey, I read Pac-Master's comments. He said, here's actually my top five. Pac-Man World 2, Super Mario Sunshine, Smash Bros. Melee, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and Zelda Wind Waker. That's a pretty solid list. If you get a chance, snag a 007, everything or nothing, and Samurai Jack. Great games. Nice to beat Rondo last week. Nice, nice, nice. It's a cool game, man. Alright, so these guys take two hits each. I try and get underneath them so I can shoot straight up. like that. Uh, going after the mark. Yeah, I, I wish I would have done that. Um, there's really only one GameCube game that I'm really looking for, and that's Ikaruga. So I want to find a complete copy of that. But other, I think that that will complete pretty much my GameCube collection. Um, oh, I, got, I got to show you this. Hold on. I'll give you guys a sneak preview of something that I picked up. see this in a future pickup video. Snag this bad boy for 20 bucks. It is the, uh, the Donkey Konga complete inbox set, which is awesome. And what's super cool about that is that uh, it, it, the game inside comes with two manuals. One's in English and one's in like French or something. So it's got both of the manuals, which is nice.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, snag that. It's got like the little cardboard thing inside. The, man the game's complete. Got the precautions manual and the advertisement. So. We can live stream some don Donkey Konga. Donkey Konga. I actually got, I mean, it was 20 bucks, but I got it a little bit cheaper. Because I, uh, I bought some other stuff and I paid in cash, so I got a little bit of a discount. So it might have been like 18 bucks or something. I mean, it wasn't much cheaper, but a couple dollars is a couple dollars, you know what I mean? Gaming rocks, what's going on, man? It's been a while. How you been, man? Yeah, I like the, the big the box. You know, it's a bigger box, but it's not a huge box. You know what I mean? It takes up some shelf space, and it looks awesome, but it doesn't take up like a whole shelf. You know what I mean? I still need to find a box for uh, Dance Dance Revolution Mario mix. Oh yeah, Savage, you know I pound some drums. <laughs> Somebody's at the front door. Nobody's at the back door. Oh, oh, eat up the ladder. Uh, yeah, maybe. Might have said I wanted one complete unbox because they look cool, you know. They look cool, complete unbox. It looks cool. Mini me, you complete me. All right, sure. I was, I was feel like oh, I should fill up my fill up my metal, and from here we can actually jump all the way over there. Look at that. Actually, make it make life a little easier. And save some of those uh, metal blades just by using the leaf shield. Mega Man 2, but it's on, it's on my emulator, so I'm not really sure what version. You can actually do the, the pause glitch right here, where we can go... That. I see a lot of people using the old pause glitch in Mega Man.
No, we'll take that for sure. That was a lucky drop. Alright, so we'll go in here. Ready to go. We'll take number one. I hang out here. You're gonna, you might take a hit. Oh, we got lucky. No, we're gonna blast that wall. to try and ah. yeah, that's the jump you want to make it's actually not as easy as it looks are you guys talking about speed run mega brandon said almost had the speed run had the record for ninja gaiden 2 and gave up on it yeah you have to i need to play any of these games you have to have great eye hand coordination but the hard ones you're right man Jet Hawk, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Just finishing up some Mega Man 2 here. See what's up. Forget, like you, I've played this game so many times, you figure that I would remember. The only reason I didn't stand to the left and stay behind him is because I wanted this power up. I think this is Woodman. Hey, good guess. All right, Packmaster, take it easy. Appreciate the support. Boom. brings you in here today, Jet Hulk. Appreciate you stopping by. Take the health. Oh, yeet. We're gonna save Metal Man for last, just in case we need that power up. And I don't really feel like using my Metal Blades. Sometimes you can actually get him before. All right, so we're gonna use, hopefully, one Metal Blade to kill Mega Man. Yes, I'm getting close to 4,000 subscribers. And, uh, or, but, yeah. 4,000 subscribers would be amazing. Very grateful. Boom, boom, boom. Metal Blades. Metal Blades and Peanut Butter M&M's, that's what it's all about.
Hold on, I'm gonna check on something. Three thousand five hundred and thirty-nine awesome subscribers. All right, so we want to get as close as we can to the right side because we do not want to get hit by any of these falling droplets. That will ruin your day. Like, there's like no music, <laughs> no ambiance. Uh, you enjoy most of uh, Mega Man official games, even fan games. Yeah, I watched, I think it was Benevolent Dick or somebody one night was playing Ultimate Mega Man or something. And then they made one that was like, with Street Fighter characters. What's really cool is he doesn't have any post-hit invincibility. So if you can get off three shots, oh god, you'll, you'll get three damage on him, which is awesome. There we go. That's what we needed. Like Pavlov, here's my reward, a peanut butter M&M. Mega Brandon says he's gone for over a year. It's good to see great channels still growing. CM subbed to me a while back. I've been watching pretty much ever since. Yeah, man. <laughs> Movie Metal Head said Metal Man just disappeared in the explosion. <laughs> He's like, what happened? Yeah, no. Well, the thing is, if you're standing on that, that pad, you know, because he, he's one one shot kill, so you hit him. And that's things trying to pull you back into the room and it's trying to run that animation. You'll notice, too, like if you watch that on the playback, the energy bar there, the vertical energy bar, turns green. It's blank, but it's like green. Mega Man Unlimited, yeah, 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 yeah. They made that a cartridge, right? Like that... I'm gonna have to look for that next time I go to a convention. Street Fighter X Mega Man, yeah, 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 yeah. You have like little 8-bit Blancas and, and Ryus and stuff, looks awesome. I'm gonna have to look for that one, too. Just run over some, read some chit chats. Mega Brandon says he wishes he still had his NES. Yeah, I've thought about solding, uh, solding mine, selling mine, but uh, actually, because I got the emulator, so I've got all the games I would ever want. But um, yeah, I'm actually waiting for a box to pop up on eBay, and I'll just put it back in the box. You know what I mean? Which I think would be cool. Gaming Rock said 8th grade is kicking his, kicking his butt. Yeah, yeah, live stream some Doom, man. That's a series that I don't, I don't really play a lot of first-person shooters. Uh, Mega Brandon says, always loved this and the third game's ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Jethawk says... Try Rock Force. It's really fun. Is it um? Is that like a hack? Is it a fan translation or something? See, a lot of these games I've never, I've never heard of, so it's kind of exciting. It's almost like getting new Nintendo games in 2019. You know what I mean? by Capcom. 
USA, USA. All right, that's a great game, man. I want to play now. Contra? Let's play through Contra. That'll take 20 minutes. Oh, we should play Casino Kid 2. Okay, we'll play Contra. And then we'll jump in on the Casino Kid 2. Casino Kid 2 is awesome. But see, like, like Jet, I, you know, I go to, um, I go to a convention, I see all these, like, fan translations, ROM hacks, you know, people made these games, but I don't know what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I said I don't play a lot of first-person shooters, uh, movie, like, Goldeneye, I love Goldeneye, Perfect Dark is awesome, never played Left 4 Dead, uh, Battlefield 2, I actually quite enjoyed that one, I need to get back to that one. Oh, thanks, Hector. I appreciate that, man. Gaming Rock. Been playing Defender on Windows 95. Uh, Jetox says it's a fan game. What the best thing is you can play as the Robot Masters. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a new spin on it. And I love it like when they do stuff like that where they do stuff that hasn't been done before, you know? That's cool. You have to keep a keep an eye out for that kind of stuff, man. Bro, oh, you eat. I don't know what it is about this controller. It's a Super Nintendo controller. You know, Super Nintendo USB controller here, I'll show it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a Super Nintendo USB style controller. I don't know what it, but it's a, it just like, it makes this game weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's the way the buttons are. And when you don't have like your, your childhood Nintendo controller that's like broken in, you know what I mean? Like. Don't get that. All right, Hector's got to take off. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tell all your friends about me. I'm Batman. I told you, I make a bunch of, like, movie references and, like, wrestling references and stuff. Like... Play a little conservative cantra. <laughs> he struggled to fire. Are you that good at uh, Goldeneye? I I'm terrible at Goldeneye. I remember playing it as a kid, you know, you play through the campaign mode and stuff. But I was I was always the first one to get killed in, <laughs> in the deathmatch ones. That would be a great Arnold and Stallone movie, Contra. Oh no! That'll ruin your day. Should have put in our application for the 30 life code, man. You usually don't have any problems with Contra. 
Uh, I think we'll be alright. We'll get through it. And if we don't, still have our health. Take a little longer. Oh, really? You're not gonna give me that? Oh boy. Success. I have not. I've never played Contra Hardcore. Contra Three. I'm terrible at. Uh, we we recently live streamed Operation C for the Game Boy. That was a cool game. It's short. It's only like five levels or something. It's five or six levels. Got an extra life. Hey, that makes me feel better. Probably, in my opinion, the hardest level in the game because you don't know. Like, like that guy spawned like out of nowhere. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, you did. Jump, 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 jump. See, like that guy right there. Where'd that guy come from? He's not allowed to do that. It's against the rules. He's probably rusty. Are we not hitting him? It says uh, rusty at golden eye. Yeah, get the old uh, the old memory belt where the maps are. You know what I mean? All the little, little hiding spots and stuff. Yeah. I don't think I can pass to level four in Contra Three. I'm terrible. Bum 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 bum. Yay, extra life. You gotta like jump. Got 
Gotta get the R. We got the R. The last Contra game, I think the last Contra game they made, there was one for the DS, right? It was Contra 4. That's the last one I remember. I don't think they made one since then. I don't know, I don't know like what the, the storyline order is, you know, I don't know if some of them are prequels or... I think the last Contra game they made was Contra 4 on the DS. It's actually pretty difficult to get a hold of. Like, you don't see a lot of complete copies of Contra 4. Okay, we got a wave one there, I think. Contra Rebirth? Uh, you know, what console was that for? Or was that uh, download only? DLO, download only. Oh no! What was that? Oh my god. We always used to say we were a kid, cherry red and it's dead. It's like the, the mantra for Nintendo, right? Every, day, every boss turns red and then it's like close to being killed. <laughs> I didn't have to kill those two guys. I wanted to kill those two guys. Like the final boss in Jackal, another Konami game by the way. Turns like that color red and then it blows up. What an underappreciated game Jackal is. stand directly under it, you get bombed. Ugh. Yeah, Savage, I want that one too. You can't find it. I mean, I guess you could go on the eBay or whatever and pay retail. Retail plus for it. But you know we don't pay retail for games, homie. That's not how we do it.
Like it's gonna be a, ne a never ending string of enemies right here. And all we want. Come on. Ugh, that's a tight jump. I wish you could, like, shoot these turrets. You'd pay 50 sealed? Ah, you know, 50 sealed for that game is probably not a bad price. Because like I said, I, I never see it. I never see it loose or anything. Death Wagon. Captain Algebra, what's going on, man? Yeah, 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 just playing a little Contra, man. We played through, what did we, we played Kung Fu, Mario 3, Mega Man 2, playing through Contra. Just kind of relax. Oh, you and Mega Dan, yeah, that's you guys are amazing. Tried to no death run this, and uh, I'm I'm terrible at Super C. I got I got to play that game more. It's in the backlog, you know what I mean? Damn, damn backlogs. Oh, oh God. God, stop shooting at me. All I want to do is destroy your base in peace. <laughs> Smash JT, what's going on? Thank you for smashing that like button. Oh yeah, you guys trying again, yeah, yeah. No thanks on the machine gun. What's up, Nintendo 2009? Mega Brand is... Oh, Firebreak. Yeah, I need to get into that game, too. I played it for a little bit, uh, Demon's Crest, and I absolutely loved it, but I just never went back to play it. Backlogs, you know? Yeah. I like to play a little conservative through here. 
kind of take these guys like one or two at a time. I mean, like now push forward. One at a time, now push forward. Oh god, eat, 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 eat. Get there. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Just go! Oh. Ah, that was my fault. That's on me. Get aggressive. Be aggressive. Sorry, you got two lives left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we re reward ourselves with a peanut M&M. Peanut butter M&M. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter M&Ms. You've destroyed the vile Red Falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. You know what? I do consider myself a hero. Mm. Hey, what's up? Yeah, Gargoyle's Quest. That was a good one, too. What's the most I ever paid for a game that I really wanted but never had? Um... Wow, that's a good question. Let me look at my Super Nintendo collection. I paid 30 bucks for Kirby's Dream Land 3. Most of the stuff I trade, you know, like trade for, like I traded for my DuckTales 2. I did pay 80 bucks for Battletoads Double Dragon, but oh, I got the box and the manual and the poster for that. I got that at a yard sale. I think I spent like 70 bucks 80 bucks maybe on the uh on the cartridge i don't know man it's a good question what's up paul thanks for stopping by yeah smash the whole universe i'm like the guardian of the galaxy that's what i am uh what did we say we we're gonna play Oh, uh, Casino Kid 2. So this is a game that is on my childhood list. I actually don't own this game physical, but uh, I'd love to. You guys are into gambling. <laughs> yes, thank you, Nintendo 2009. I did beat, you know, I've been playing Contra for forever since it came out. And I've got a couple no death runs of Contra to my record, but usually I can, I can get through it without the Konami code or using a continue, you know, just with earning extra lives. All right. So each one of the countries represents a player and you see where it says like, this is Rocky Hammer in Canada, Blackjack. He's level two. Paul Keaton, he's roulette number two. We're looking for like number ones. So she's roulette number one, so we'll take take her on. The goal is to beat all the bosses.
And there's a way, there's like a strategy. I gotta figure out the buttons. All right, Jedhawk, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate the support. Thanks for hooking me up on the uh, Mega Man games. Yeah, mine, uh, movie, movie Metal Head, mine, I have a sealed DuckTales, too. I traded for it. And I got really lucky. I got some really good subscribers. I can figure out what the buttons do again. Oh, yeah. Smash says I can't gamble later. <laughs> Alright, Smash, take it easy, man. Uh, the coin was over Ohio. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean by that. Basically, bet the same thing. We need double zero, zero, one, two, or three. Oh, so close. Now, if you're smart in roulette, you just bet pies. You bet like 20% of the pie, and you give yourself one in five, five chance. trouble getting an active chat during it the key is to ask questions like oh what are your top five nintendo games have you ever played this game before you know what I mean? sort of engage the audience that way and then sometimes they'll just start their own conversations you know oh on the map uh you know what retro fix will have to look again i don't think so I think it's more uh, like Las Vegas. This casino kid is from Las Vegas. There we go. We got a one, so that pays 36 to one or something. So 30, 35 to one. All right, so we've won that one. Yeah, the USA flag is in Las, where Las Vegas, Nevada would be. Ohio would be like right under the Canadian flag, like maybe like halfway down in the United States area. All right, so we got poker, and blackjack. Play some black jack. Oh yeah, maybe yeah yeah. Spin over on. We have arrived at Australia. We are gonna stand with sixteen. Ah. Nintendo 2009 says he is in Canada. Canada. Look at this nonsense. And we'll stand and hope that they're. Ugh. Hope they bust. Stand with 20. 
Ah, great success! Ah. This game cheats. So, at $10 a hand, she has $120. So you basically have to win 12 hands. Take all of her money. Ooh, we're gonna hit. 13, hit again. 21, we'll stand with that. A show, they've busted. Ah. I think it, well, I think it's because this game, uh, I would bust it. I think because in the first Casino Kid game, he was from Las Vegas, like, I think it all happened, like, in Las Vegas, so, see if they bust. Nope. So I just think that's where the Casino Kid is from, you know? He, I think they made that choice when they made the game because Las Vegas is so exotic. Twenty. Hey, see if I'd have taken that card, I would have busted. Mm, Fifteen, huh? Looks like a hit. Feeling froggy. Might as well jump. Hit with 11, heck yeah. Fourteen, fourteen. They would have to draw again. Lost, yay! All right, Mega Brandon. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate the support. Have a good day. Yeah, don't run too fast. I don't know where what it's like where you're at, but it's snowy out here. <laughs> of course. Ooh, should we double? You always double down on 11. I, I learned that by watching Swingers. Oh, yeah! We got a low card and still won. No, I don't want insurance. I don't ever want insurance. I wish that was just the option. Uh... Yeah, I feel like I had to take a hit there. Oh, hello. Ah. <laughs> we have a five card twenty. Game is a push. Starting to wear wear her down a little bit. She's only got 60 bucks left, so we're gonna win six hands. We just need to win five hands. I feel like we had to go for oh we didn't in 14. They would have busted. Dang it. Bust, 
Split aces. You always split aces. It's a rule. Hey. Uh, busted. Are you taking off two, uh, Metalhead? Oh, there we go. That should, is that gonna do it? Yep, that's gonna do it. We win. He said, oh no! to Brazil play all we're gonna oh yeah I gotta know when to split too yeah yeah always split aces hi honey I'm your sweet dealer <laughs> the game is draw poker <laughs> you can raise the bet up to four times Bet range is one dollar to ten dollars. The ante is one dollar at this table. <laughs> Play some ante. Now we're going bigger going home. All right, we got here. We got four clubs. Play some bet. For the flush. The flush. One dollar bet. Raise the bet to two dollars, huh? Okay. I'll play. You got a high card. Won that hand with an ace. I had a Kang. Could have folded, saved my dollar. cards and hope for the best everybody cross your fingers you can get anything I folded oh <laughs> yeah split I got that the second time I read it I was like split oh he's leaving and then we were talking about poker yeah yeah <laughs> you know blackjack oh come on man you gotta get a pair here get a bit three Okay, we'll call. You get a bit three. All right. You got a high card, I got a pair. Okay. Feels good to get that first hand under your belt. Get a win. Looking for the home team. All right, man, we're, we're not like getting any pairs on the flop really crushing my uh, my morale right now. Ten and a queen. I got a pair of jacks. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> Before the uh, the poker boom, here we go. We got a we got a pair. All that. Now, ah, hopefully, we can get let's get trips. Ah, uh, nope. Raise the bet to three dollars. Okay, I'll play for two. Yeah, almost had a straight. I'm getting there. Right. Pocket fives. Well, I guess not pocket fives. I'm not playing. Hold them. <laughs> it's like all anybody plays anymore. 
because the only time I play five card draw poker is like when I'm playing with the kids. With my kids, you know, where bust out the old poker chip set. Ah, oh, come on, man. You gotta hit me with some trip. He kept three, so he might be uh, working on a flush or a straight. Yeah. A simple pair. Yeah, he won. He'd be a pair of sevens. Take him down. Uh, yes, Savage, we are playing Go Fish. You bet four. We've got, we got uh, trips. Hit it with the max bet. He's going to call. And you're going to lose. Thank you very much. I wish we were playing Go Fish. Do you have any queens? Go Fish. Hmm. That was one. We'll call that. I guess we'll keep our connectors here. Yanked out a pair. We got four diamonds. We're going for the we're going for the flush. Five card draw. Yeah, I like I like Hold'em, man. Texas Hold'em's awesome. I do love that movie, Maverick. That's hilarious. That was on HBO, and I think we watched the hell out of it. I think I watched it like two or three times. The soundtrack to that movie is actually really good, too. See if we can get him to uh, raise again. Yep, perfect. We'll hold the two pair that we were dealt. Oh, <laughs> so close. Getting the full house. I figured he would raise that. Alright, so that was a $42 pot. That wasn't bad. We will keep Big Slick and get rid of everything else. And we end up with a pair of twos.
yes, we'll take our take our pair of twos all the way to the top. I don't think so. straight. Give me a jack. Air queen. Yeah, yeah, with uh, Danny Glover was the bank robber. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That five, see what he does. Raise me there. Yes, yes, they do. Which is hilarious. It's serious. I'm just going to start raising. trips right there. Yes. One with the pair of jacks. How about that? Sixes. Ooh, two pair, two pair, two pair. Ten bucks. See what he does. Call that. He did call that. Call that with a pair. Call that with a pair of fives. Pretty aggressive. Yeah, four. I mean, we need a six for a straight, or we can just keep the ace. Let's try and make our straight. Not this time. Four lurkers, love it. That's cool. I, I typically lurk when I watch live streams because I'm like tinkering around in the game room or something. Come on, man, we gotta take this guy out. So from time to time, he'll ask, like, hey, do you want to bet everything on this next hand? So he get... but when he gets down, you, you might as well take the chance, you know? Uh, oh. uh, Savage is asking, how do I feel over the SNES high-end Clone HDMI systems, analog one, it's 200 bucks US. Do I, do I have any interest? No, I would never buy a system, but I would never spend that kind of money on a, yeah, analog super, yeah, I know you're talking, it's like made out of like stainless steel or something. And I really don't want to double him up. Nothing. See, I'd take that chance there. Yeah, I would never spend the money on that. Um, I think that's totally a niche type thing. But, I mean, some people are super collectors and they gotta have that stuff, so...
He, like, he held all of his cards, which makes me suspicious. I'm going to pay it off. For $2, I'm going to see it. Full house. <laughs> yeah, I could never spend $200 on a, uh, like a, a console like that. You know what I mean? To me, it's just a Super Nintendo. My uh, Raspberry Pi, my Retro Pi here is um, HDMI. You know what I mean? So... Each their own, though, you know, if somebody wants to spend money on that. Alright, we keep the queen and the ace of diamonds. We're going to get a royal flush. How about that? <laughs> we'll see. Not even close. Made a straight cheese. Uh, metal. It's a, you want to, a way to still play old SNES carts in HD. When you were 28, your SNES finally died. That's terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool console. It's just I could never spend them. I'm not wealthy. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can spend my money on that. I kick the wife out so I can buy a Super Nintendo. We gotta get something going here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's made of like uh, like aluminum or something, isn't it? Like it's like a, it's like a metal beast. We'll keep the eight and the nine. Hope for the best, and that didn't work out. So we will fold. And run. I actually might have won that one. Alright, we need a three or an eight to make our straight, and we did not get it. You would get in the second pair. Bet it all. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and take him out right now. Can he beat two pair? Oh, we have four of a kind. Oh, the, the Nintendo one is 400 bucks. Oh, 
I thought we were gonna win that hand with, with two pair. Doubled him up. We've doubled him up twice. Ridiculous. He folded with a high card? That's funny. beaten this guy already if we hadn't doubled him up. If he raises. Come on, raise me. There we go. Savage say you might get the Hyperkin Super Nintendo. $42 hand. Like, I don't like that he can ask to, to, to go all in, but I can't. Forever. We can bail on this game at any time. You guys just let me know. We'll call that. We'll keep our ace king. Not the three. a lot of two pairs. He's like keeping a pair and then getting a pair. I'm not actually getting that. He kept a he kept a pair of jacks and then he got a jack and two queens. That's ridiculous. Oh, somebody subbed. Who subbed? Freak 070FC, thank you for subscribing. Freak, I appreciate that as we continue our march to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It'd be amazing. I appreciate the support, buddy. Hope you like the channel. Okay, we gotta win one of these, these all ins. I mean, what do you do here? You just keep the jack, right? Hope for the best. Hope for the best. We got two pair. Yes, that's game. Yeah. Uh, metal, it says try some metal storm. See if you like it. All right. So that was sort of like the level one players. And then obviously you play the level two players next, you play level three, and then you play like the boss, and the boss you have to beat him at poker, blackjack, and roulette. So, very awesome game. Play Metal Storm. You give it a try. 
Or we can play Magic Darts or Magic Johnson's Fast Break. There's, there's, there you go. Magic Johnson's, they made so many shitty sports games. Like, <laughs> Magic of Shirar's, Shirar's Uh RPG Tour guy. I actually met him at, uh, I think it was Torg or Korg, the Columbus, Ohio Retro Gamers Convention. And he, he came there just to buy that one game. What are we playing? I forgot we're playing Metal Storm. There it is. Metal Storm. Hooray. I mean, this is an awesome game. It's by Irim. What's not to like about it? 1990. Jesus Christ. Can you believe 1990 was so 30 years ago almost? I better stop eating. I think we're gonna have hamburgers for dinner. That. That. Oh, okay. Wait, I gotta get used to this. Push up, down and B, no, down and A, which is gravity. Up and A, we can go that way. Can we... Oh no, I shot that dude. Yeah, I see that. So, Let's see, okay, yeah, it's a pretty expensive game. It's it like about a hundred dollar game. I think I don't know. I like that those guys don't fall down on you. That's pretty cool. I'm expecting later that it's gonna make me do one of these things where. I have to like fall and shoot at the same time. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know what that thing was gonna do. It's my first time. Captain Retro in the house. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you back on YouTube. <laughs> oh, you got, I think you get banned like every month. Says, I don't recall be this being the soundtrack to the I I don't know. Duke knew. I like that you can shoot up. Oh, that was so close to not being good. Yeah, the gravity thing is a, that's a pretty cool mechanic. I don't think I've played it. Can I just shoot from below? That? Yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna assume that those are like power ups. I don't know what they do. How do I get down? I'm trapping it! Get out of here. Can I shoot these? Yeah. 
and I'm on a timer? I mean, down in A, down in B, down down at B, down down A, up up down down left right left right B A B A start. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Select a different weapon. Oh, there we go. Okay. I got it. And then I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even see that thing. I got it. I got it. I got it. Can drop that. Red alert? That's serious. Oh, derp. I think you just gotta get uh, used to the controls. That's like the biggest thing. Just gotta get used to that uh, that gravity mechanic. How many levels is this? Do you know? Ooh, there's a password system. That makes life easier. It's hard to tell what you can uh what you can jump through and what you can't jump through, you know what I mean? Like so far if I had one complaint continues Oh, 
Ah, uh, got too far to the right. Man, can I get a checkpoint, please? Checkpoint! Oh, God. That's crazy hard. Come on, man. I got to jump. <laughs> I got, I mean, you got to jump somewhere. You gotta, if you get unlimited continues in this game, then I guess that's fair. So unforgiving right there. Unforgiving. Has seven stages. That's good to know. We're on stage two. <laughs> these levels savage says i think he's gonna make a hockey card a lot before i play uh, before the playoffs to cash in on some past invest yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's sydney crosby is a dream boat oh yeah you get to can see okay so this is this is actually this is actually fair in my opinion this game is definitely hard So if they give you unlimited continues. Ah, uh, that was that was on me. And they start you off at the stage. They'll make you go back to like two one or something. That's pretty fair. Let's go down here. See what's up. Mm-hmm. 
Ah. What's up, Henry Gonzalez? What's going on, buddy? Well, that's good, man. I mean, that... That makes it a little bit more palatable. It's pretty cool, though. It's a good game. I mean, the controls seem to function the way they're supposed to. Sometimes on these old NES games is a challenge in and of itself, right? Crappy controls. Like, see, how are you supposed to know that that, you know what I mean? That is bothersome. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you really gotta, like, remember the stages, and there's a lot going on in this game. Now, now that guy's gonna shoot me from behind. Oh yeah, you've been doing some game hunting? Find anything good? going. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> Just go up and down. God, did we make it through there? Red alert! <laughs> Not paying attention. Oh, I gotta start back at 2-2 then, huh? Alright guys, listen. This is definitely a game we'll play again, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it quits. I've been live streaming for like, God, like three, four hours now, so hey, I hope everybody enjoyed the live stream. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. On your way out, don't forget to hit 
that like button to let me know that you like me, that you really, really like me. And also bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro Gaming goodness. You pick up videos, live streams, all kinds of stuff. We're doing the toys, Legos, and collectible stuff, which is fun for me because it's a break from the video games. But other than that, I've got a game room to clean up and dinner to eat. As you can tell, I love to eat. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you guys very much. And we'll see you all on the next one. Take care of yourself.